Suddenly, everything changed. We are the guys on his mark. Hello everyone, welcome back to Follow the Imprints. We are Sudeshna and Ranjit and you are watching our road trip episode of this Las Vegas series. And right now our very first stop, we are standing in front of the Seven Magic Mountains. Let's start from a car rental. So first we will take the Deuce bus. First stop just opposite to Planet Hollywood. Which will go from the strip to the airport car rental place. It will take around half an hour. The Deuce. Southbound. Please board through front door. Let's go. Rent a car. If you are coming from airport, these buses will take you to this rental property. And this is free of charge. All the rental companies are here. Uh, Avis, Budget, and ours is Enterprise, which is that way. Before that, we'll just take a small bite from Starbucks and let's go. For morning breakfast, some egg bites and water. <laughs> Before taking any car, as usual, we'll take the video, yeah. if any scratches or not. So we got our car from the airport and right now we are heading towards our very first stop, which is the Seven Magic Mountains and the roads are already kind of different. We have never been to arid regions, so let's have an egg bite. Everywhere we are seeing mountains. The road is nice. After almost half an hour drive, we have reached seven magic mountains. Which is nothing but art inspiration. Yes. So we came early morning. There are only two more people. So it's better to come early morning. Right now it is 8.46. So I guess this is a good time to come. Generally people go first to the Valley of Fire to experience the sunrise. And then during noon, the crowd comes here, but we are doing the opposite way because anyways we have missed the sunrise. <laughs> we and sunrise. <laughs> Doesn't go to Guess what? Not gonna happen. But now we have the magic... <laughs> but now we have the magic mountains all to ourselves and two more people. Seven magic mountains in the middle of the desert in Nevada, which is done by the Swedish artist Hugo Rondiner. This unique art installation is a surreal display of towering stacked boulders painted in neon hues, which actually make a bright contrast in this beautifully arid desert. If you are just driving the Interstate 15, you can see it while you are driving, or you can take the exit and stop here and do come in the morning because right now we have this entire seven magic mountains all to our ourselves and this installation was actually installed in the year of 2016 with a two years lease but with the huge popularity that it got the artist and the production everybody got overwhelmed and they extend the contract which was supposed to end in end of December 2021 but again the popularity didn't stop it's a world famous installation right now and at this point standing in the end of 2023 the lease has been extended till May 2026 so do visit it before it goes away
Let's go, baby. It's Vegas, baby. Let's hit the road again from Seven Magic Mountains. Now we are going towards our second destination and the final one, which is the Valley of Firestead, Nevada, which is famous for its fiery red sandstone formations. It will take around an hour of drive from the Seven Magic Mountains towards the state park, which is in the Mojave Desert. So right now, our arrival time is after one hour and 15 minutes. We have seen so many pictures on Instagram as well as videos for the last few months and can't wait to actually experience that land of Mars in real life. So let's show you the road. Vegas baby! This is the first time I'm driving in United States. Uh, this is our third country, right? After getting the license last year. It's just been one year. I yeah. need to take my G license. I still have G2. So we have driven in Canada, in United Kingdom, and now America. America, baby! Take exit 75 toward okay. Valley of Fire, Lake Mead. Before going to valley, we just wanted to have our breakfast, it's 10.44. We have kaju pita sandwich and uh, apple also. This is second breakfast actually. Second breakfast. Apple juice. This is what we bought yesterday from CVS pharmacy because we don't have any restaurants and anything here so when you're doing this road trip towards the valley of fire make sure to fill your car with water food snacks whatever you need for on the road because once you enter this valley of fire from now on the rest of the road there is no option to eat biggest juice We just stopped at the road. Not sure if they have some snakes or something. Hope not. Let's see. State Park. Uh, for Nevada cars, $10 fee. For non Nevada number plates, it's $15 per car. You have to pay the money. Dollars. Pay fee station. Let's see the, if they accept cash or card. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, it's going to be $10, please. $10. Okay. 
Thank you. Just a moment. So they do accept card as well. Master and Visa. No MX. Okay. Just put that receipt on your windshield, please. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You too. And there are signs to watch for wildlife. And because the desert, so if you're coming in summer, you will burn very easily. So carry sunscreen. We are in the winter time, so it just it was written there that the heat level is at low risk today. The weather is really nice. So shoulder season is always the best to travel anywhere. Yeah. Let's follow the map. And also, let's follow the imprints. At this point, if you are still enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up and do click the bell icon for further videos of Nevada. And don't forget to subscribe. Suddenly, everything changed drastically. Everything is red. It looks like we are right now in Mars. Welcome to the Valley of Fire State Park, which is the oldest state park in Nevada, known for its amazing rock formations. Like, it's so distracting, I cannot even speak properly at this point. It's full of red sandstones, which are eroded and has formed different unique shapes. This is our first stop once we enter from the western gate of the Valley of Park. The first stop is Beehives. They have given us a map and we are following the map religiously. Looking like a spin in Egypt. So they have business centers here. Uh, you have restrooms. So this is the spot called Balance Rock. So for me, every rock is looking like balancing over on top of each other. So I'm not sure exactly which Balance Rock is the spot to see. So welcome to Valley of Fire. 500 million years ago, this desert was a sea. See, like all these things were underwater. Seriously, this, this looks like a different planet altogether. This is Mars. We have left Earth. human life. Yeah. We have left Earth. Everything is red. So nice. So and beautiful. This is like, yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's looking like a bar. <laughs> and this is like not a marked spot on the map. The entire park is so beautiful. Like whenever you have the option to park your car, just park and. We are going to the next point. Mouse's tank. I don't know what that means. Let's see what is mouse's tank. This is the balance rock. Right. I don't know. Everyone is balancing themselves. <laughs> so the next stop is mouse's tank, which is 0.75 miles up Out and back. back. This is an easy one, uh, like moderate hike and. Here we are supposed to see the ancient drawings here and there. Hiking in hot weather is dangerous. So and we are not, not recommended. Be smart and safe. the first time for us hiking in the desert yeah it's not easy I am the slowest animal on earth when it comes to walking over sand so this 7.5 miles out and back it's going to take a long time yeah. As we were walking towards the mouse's tank, we just saw these petroglyphs which are the ancient drawings and symbols from millions of years ago. So what do you think about mouse's tank? It's about the journey, not the destination. Definitely not the destination. But the road towards it was really nice. and. There are supposed to be petroglyphs here, which are like ancient uh, drawings and symbols I've told multiple times. And it is believed that nobody knows exactly who or how many millions of years ago people have done that. I so believe aliens wrote it. 
Yeah, actually, that's a myth that ancient aliens have written that. So this Valley of Fire, it is the oldest state park of Nevada. And I think like they should just upgrade this one to a national park because yeah. this is so stunning. Yeah, this is so good. Like something we have never seen. So for us, this is very new and just popping off from everywhere. Yeah, this looks like out of a movie set. Yeah. Set, yeah. we again spotted some petroglyphs here and here of Emma, Stella, I don't know, maybe millions some of years other ago. fella. Don't do this, please. Straight away these are vandalism. Don't ruin So we have done Mouse's tank trail. Now she is cleaning millions of tons of sand from her shoes and her socks. Still cleaning from last half an hour. When she will be done, then we'll go to Elephant Rock. The rock which looks like an elephant. Here you can sit and relax, enjoy with your own meal. We saw this balancing rock and then mouse's tank. So you have now two options. One, you can go straight towards the White Domes Road, which is a nice scenic drive as well as a loop trail, 5.5 uh, miles one way so if you have the time you can do that we don't have so we are going towards the east the elephant rock and before leaving the park we will visit the arch rock and the alt rock which we missed while entering the park driving towards the east we came across this spot which is the seven sisters these are seven huge red rocks which were once a part of the red rock formations but due to years of relentless force of erosion most of the sandstone in this areas have weared away and these numerous blowholes which we can see on these rocks are the signs of destruction which will happen in years to come due to the erosion which is continuously happening in this area So here right now we are standing at the east entrance and we are going to visit the elephant rock which resembles the trunk of the elephant. This is the elephant rock trail. So we have to walk this way and that's where it's supposed to be. It's the parking. We have to climb all this way like she is coming right now. And this is the elephant rock because it resembles the trunk and the shape of the elephant. And in this era of social media, unfortunately, people have hyped this place so much. Everybody goes out there and take their pictures. But if everyone goes like this, it's ultimately eroding the sandstone. So please don't do that. Take your picture from here and let the elephant be like this at least for a few years more. So our second last stop today, Atlat Roar, Atlat Rock, Atlat Rock. <laughs> <laughs> so they have made some staircase to go up. Let's see. So we decided not to climb the stairs because on top of that they have some pony glyphs or petroglyphs, pony glyphs for One Piece fans. Ah yes, the pony glyphs. <laughs> So those petroglyphs we can see from here itself. So you saw those, right? So it's easier to see from here than to go up there. Yeah, you know excuses made by lazy people like yeah. us. And also I don't understand why they have built the stairs. They build because they have money. No, I mean it's they eroding, build, the, it's they eroding build. the rocks. No, no, they build because they need tourists like us. Right, right? You will come here, right? Obviously, uh, we are coming, you will be coming. So everybody is coming, so they need money. We destroy environment to make money. <laughs> so 
So our last stop for the day, it's the arch, natural arch. So we'll show you now. Come. And please, again, do not climb. So that's the arch. Which has been formed. Strong winds and erosion has led the structure to remain like this. So that's why please do not climb the rock so that it remains at least for a few more years because eventually nature will work and destruction will happen. That's inevitable but still now enjoy the arch when you're here. So today lunch with a view. View of arch. arch. And that wraps our desert adventure from Seven Magic Mountains to the Valley of Fire State Park. Hope you have enjoyed this ride with us. Do hit that subscribe button and share this one with your friends and family who might be planning to travel to US soon. And please press the like button and the bell icon to get further notification. Till then, follow the imprints. <laughs> Sierra Nevada. That's the bus. It says in Sierra. Mountains of Nevada, right? With friend, which is like, which is nothing but, which is, which is an, which is an, which this actually by the famous Swedish, by the Swedish art, by the famous Swedish artist Hugo Rodin, Hugo Rodin. बंधन तो प्यार का बंधन है जन्म का संगम है तो कौन देखते खुल ली शुद्ध जारी क्या पिच्चे क्या है जारी क्या पिच्चा The wonderful world This is our photographer those are models This is the first time for us doing in the sand doing in the sand as we are walking towards the mouse's garage mouse's tank trouble <laughs> that welcome to the valley of state valley of fire state the valley of fire state the valley of state